Hockman. I'm a GB swimmer currently based at City of Leeds Swimming Club. I got into swimming just simply because my parents thought it was an important life skill. I just really enjoyed it so I moved to a club and I grew up in Norwich so that was based down there. I've been in Leeds for the past three years. I train 10 times a week and I have Sunday off, so that's twice Monday, twice Tuesday, twice Wednesday then, Thursday night, twice Friday, Saturday morning. The mornings, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, are 5 till 7 in the morning, so we're up super early, but that's for people who go to school so they can do that and then in the evening it's at half 4 to half 6. We then go in the gym four times a week, Monday, Wednesday, Friday and Saturday. Well, I'm based at the Drum Charles for all of my training and I do my swimming training here and my gym work here as well. It's an amazing facility, it's quite new as you can probably tell. The facilities are incredible, they're all clean, everything's as good as it gets really. I mean it's so valuable having a good facility it's because I have the access to 50 metre training. We have as much pool time as we need. We have access to the gyms, we can do our weights, our cardio work, everything there. My main event is the 400 freestyle and I do a bit of medley work as well. I used to be a medley swimmer but I injured my back last year and since then I've not been able to do the same training because of the flying breast. So I kind of had to focus on freestyle. I mean it, was, it made the choice easier because I came fourth in the 400 free in the final in Delhi at the Commonwealth Games so it was obviously a strong event for me so it made it easier for me to make that decision to focus on that. See the London Olympic trials were just held last March and there are second trials in June. I didn't swim well in March so I'm quite lucky that at least I've got another chance to maybe go on a relay. I ideally would have liked to have qualified for the 400 free but within the UK there's such a depth of strength it's going to be hard to qualify for the relay because it's the 4x200 relay so it is that bit shorter but hopefully I can have a crack at it and try and qualify then. Our trials were held at the London Olympic pool so it was like a taste of what it would be. It's so weird because you'll be walking down a corridor there'll be somebody who's absolutely ecstatic, they've just made an Olympic team and there'll be other people who have just missed it, maybe like point, one tenth of a second and that's their dream for however many years. So it's really hard, we saw people like British record holders weren't qualifying for the Olympic Games because they didn't have the swim on the day. I definitely think that one of the hardest things that most athletes come across is the problem with funding and being able to afford to live in a city that the parents don't live in so they can get the training so that they need so they can reach their potential. I think it is really hard, it's tough because swimming is not a sport that is flooded with money. The top of the athletes get funding from UK sports so that does help a bit but there's, that also adds, adds a lot of pressure because for a lot of athletes that's their only income and if they don't swim well, if they've had injuries, over a period of time they will be moved off the funding and then they're stuck with a problem that they don't know, they don't have anything to live off. It's not a cheap sport either with like the suits or the entries, the training fees, then sports massage. I know personally my sponsor is really important. I'm sponsored by Barry Wells and he founded the Wells Sports Foundation which aims to give back, to give money to grassroots sports and it sponsors elite athletes and I definitely need that sponsorship to be able to afford to live, to pay my rent, to keep my car on the road, to get to and from to training so it's been really important for me. It gives me a chance to give back to others because I go into schools and talk to them and try to inspire other people to take part in swimming, sport, even if not for an elite level, just for an enjoyment level and just to get involved. My hopes for the future are pretty high. I think every athlete who trains full time has to aim for the very top because otherwise you've already set a limit for yourself before you've even begun. So my overall aim probably would be an Olympic gold but whether I achieve that or not is a different matter but I personally believe you have to aim high if you want to achieve it.